It does not matter who I am. What matters is this sweet VPN today. Ah uh, yes, today. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. So a VPN helps you search the internet safely when you are living in the darkness. Helping protect you and your precious good ones safe from all those other evil people trying to hack your stuff out there. Does it allow you to access content from other countries? Why yes, it very much does. In fact, it's actually even unlimited devices. So I am able to share it with my human. Oh yes, and this is the time to act now. You can get 83% off and three months free. So do it now. Run to that website on screen and use that code, Joel H. Yes, that is right, Joel H. So this is not the time to be afraid, Doctor. That comes later. So what are you waiting for? The choice is yours. VPN or do? We now return to your regular programming. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And we're at a place called Hey Fried Chicken to do their crazy fried chicken challenge. So this is an undefeated fried chicken challenge. Yes, that is correct. So it's absolutely massive. We have like four kilograms of both chicken and french fries. The most an individual's ever eaten is half of the challenge. So we're gonna have, I believe it's 40 minutes to complete this challenge, $69 if we do not complete it, free if we complete it. So a whack of fried chicken, which is like an Asian style fried chicken, and then french fries. So let's go on in and see what we can do. Should be a lot of fun. I have my good friend Mr. Scott here. Let's eat some fried chicken. All right, everyone, so here we are with the delicious looking fried chicken challenge. So many fries, so much chicken. Again, undefeated, but it looks absolutely delicious. Maybe that'll be my thumbnail. But so we're gonna have one hour to complete this. Um, you also can either like have the flavored chicken or the original chicken, and you can pick a side so on the so a sauce on the side if you don't want the flavored. We went with the original. But uh, Scott, ready to eat some chicken? I, uh, yes, yes, I am. Scott's always starving. I'm starving. This chicken looks really good, so let's get started here. That looks delicious. Again, we do have some sauces, lots of chicken. We do have chicken buckets here, like bone buckets. So I have a timer today. It's gonna be on my phone. So Scott, give us a countdown. All right, here goes nothing. One hour. One hour, yes. Nine pounds of chicken and fries. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really ready for this one, but I'm gonna give it my best, so. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I hope so, yeah. So right. five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh cheers. It's still a little hot, but I'm sure it'll be good. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. I can tell there's like Asian spices in it. Bones. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are at Hey Fried Chicken taking on their massive uh, Hey Fried Chicken challenge. So for this challenge, um, again, I'll call it KFC, not to be mistaken with Kentucky Fried Chicken, but Korean Fried Chicken. Um, yeah, so huge KFC uh, chicken challenge. So essentially we had um, 4.4 pounds of french fries and then like 4.4 pounds of chicken so it's basically like nine pounds of food absolutely massive uh, aka like two kilos of each um, essentially which was like it was a lot of food right so i mean you're talking just an absurd amount of not only french fries but also fried chicken um, yes there is bones in it but it's just a lot of food all at once hence it was undefeated good flavors mm -hmm. Nice and fresh, good amount of crispy, good amount of seasoning. We don't even need the sauces yet. No, nope. it's very it's moist too. The sauce is really good though. So kind of 
they had a leaderboard or like a wall of fame and a wall of shame essentially um, of people who completed the most. Um, so the most that somebody had actually completed of this challenge was about half. So approximately about four pounds was about, uh, you know, or two kilograms, just over two kilograms was essentially what an individual was able to do. So of course we were hoping to, well, one, beat that current standing record, but of course we wanted to beat the whole challenge. We wanted to get it for free. Otherwise we were going to be paying about 60, $70, um, which I mean, it's a lot of dang good fried chicken for that price, but it's still that price. But yeah, very delicious chicken. About two minutes in. Well, pretty well. Mm -hmm. Food tastes delicious. Some juicy breasts. I love those things. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Says the single guy. Chicken breast, come on, Scott, you know better. So of course we were focusing on the chicken, um, but we did get a little taste of the french fries in there as well, to which we basically were like, are these from McDonald's? Like I've never had a french fry that more replicated a McDonald's french fry than these right here. Like the taste, the uh, visual, the texture, like I swear, they, this, like hay fried chicken gets their french fries from McDonald's. I don't know how they do it, I don't know if they, bought them from the same supplier or whatever the circumstances, but literally, um, the Hay Fried Chicken has french fries just like McDonald's french fries. Um, so if you like McDonald's french fries, hey, you can go get your freaking Korean fried chicken and french fries here all at the same spot. Um, very, 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 very salty though, um, to which uh, we identified maybe could be a little bit of an issue. Um, you know, as just an accumulation of salt um, can be quite taxing on the different flavors of your palate, um, especially when you're eating a lot of different fried foods. But the chicken was not uh, spicy at all, and, or sorry, um, not salty. Um, it was like the perfect balance. And we had all these delicious sauces in front of us, being like a Korean fried barbecue, mustard sauce. You can't see them in frame, but we're going to be talking about them here just mom uh, momentarily. Um, but yeah, really good. A nice crispy coating there as well. Yeah, that's really good. It's good fried chicken. Very fresh. Like I said, you can really get those Asian flavors. So with that, everybody, I think that's pretty much all the information I have to share with you. Um, so yeah, essentially a great big massive pile of fried chicken, a great big massive pile of french fries, and two gentlemen who like to eat, hoping to be able to beat this challenge. So with that, everybody, I'll let you get the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy. Um, definitely be sure to comment down below if you are a fried chicken fan, as I am definitely a fried chicken fan. Hashtag Team Fried Chicken. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Just pulled right off the bone. With. Five and a half minutes in, there definitely is a big mountain of fried chicken because there's still a lot left, but it is going really well. It's really good. I like the flavors. Well, just keep enjoying it. <laughs> Crispy, juicy, mm -hmm. you know, how can you lose? No complaints. tap into some of these sauces so I tried them for my chicken's all gone. I think this is a Korean barbecue I believe. Oh man. That's delicious. A little bit of heat. But very delicious. And this one is like a mustard sauce. I really that too. It's almost like a mustard and wasabi sauce.
just about 10 minutes in. Very good, very delicious. We're cruising through this chicken. I do believe we're probably over that two kilogram mark, so I would say we're farther than anybody has gotten before. I'm going out on a limb saying that. So, we've got 50 minutes left, let's get it done. Like a flare, I'm getting in so much chicken, it's like a five spice. But it's like a very traditional kind of Asian spice. Question. Question is, what are those five spices? I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I think one of them is like a knives or a niche. Comment below if you guys know. Yeah, I don't know. French fries, I'm trying to rip my mouth up too much. Woo! It's good. It's a bit of chicken. Okay guys, so we're 16 minutes and 10 seconds in. Uh, I've got three pieces of chicken left. Joel's got a couple of fry balls. A few more, fry, uh, a, lot of <laughs> fry balls. a few dozen fry balls, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, he'll be on his way to set the new record here. Record I think I think you did. Yeah, I was gonna say I think you've already set the record. Uh, uh, you know, the two point one two kilos. You've already got past that, but first person to beat it, anyways. Well,
All right. So finish up about 24 minutes, 32 seconds, something like that. Mm. Man, that salt is burning my lips. Can't wait to wash that off. But that, Scott is killing it. Just down to a little bit of fries. I know you have the hiccups, but you just swallowed something funny. Had me the other day. Just keep pushing it down. Keep drinking, it'll go away. So there we go, we got a new record. Scott's gonna have a second one here very, very shortly. So both will have two <laughs> times this challenge has been defeated. Hopefully. <laughs> Excuse me, Woo. got some air in there. But yeah, I need to go wash my lips off. Lots of salt. Keep going there, Scotty boy. Good job. You got it, keep it up. So we are 27 minutes and 30 seconds in. Scott is still doing really well. He's down to probably just over a pound of fries out of what is like three pounds of fries, three and a half pounds of fries. So he's doing really well. Keep it up, dude. You got it. 31 minutes and 12 seconds in. Scott is doing really, really well. Just has like less than a pound of fries left. So he's absolutely killing it. About to smoke this thing. So keep it up there, Scotty boy. Doing real good. So it's part of winning, you gotta have yeah, part of winning. Nice. Remember you got a t-shirt, but we just run you over right now. Cool man. I yeah. like it. Cool, and for winning, get a hat. We got another one here for Scott. There's two here. He's he's gonna win. He's basically just finished. That's super cool. I said normally get a t-shirt, but they're out, so I actually really like the hat. That's awesome. I love the colors. Oh thanks. It's super bright. Thanks. Yeah, also it's like a bag or oh no, it's like a tote bag. Yeah, I mean, it's used. Hey, fried chicken tote bag. That's dope. I can definitely use that. Now everybody will know that I like fried chicken. Whatever. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's super cool. Yeah, and finished. There we go. Good job, dude. <laughs> All right. That so. was rough. That was rough. I'm sorry, guys. I had the, about three or four uh, episodes of the hiccups. So uh, I was, yeah, it was good, but it was just the hiccup, so. I, it happens. Yeah. So at 36 minutes, 39 seconds for Scott, I don't quite remember my time, but. So long ago, no, like uh, <laughs> yesterday. I don't know. 24? 20 something minutes. Yeah. But at that, we will get our walls up, uh, our names up on the wall uh, there as victors. Uh, so they finally have some defeaters. So yeah, super cool, really enjoyed this place. Great staff, really enjoyed the challenge as well. Very tasty. Scott? Besides the hiccups, how was it? Yeah, it was very good. The uh, chicken was tender and juicy yeah, uh, and had nice uh, crisp on the outside there. And the fries, uh, they were nicely seasoned as well. A lot of them, but uh, we got through it. We did. Yeah. Well, with that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you're ever in Saskatoon, be sure to check out Hey Fried Chicken. And that's until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. You know what to do. Good enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a great day. And of course, like, don't eat as much as we do, but you can come here and eat some. Yeah. <laughs> don't eat like we eat. All right, now we're going to write our names up on the wall. So, pretty cool. So, 24, 32 for me, and 36, 39 for Mr. Scott. So, here we go. Watch me on YouTube. Nice, nice. <laughs> I want to get Scott up going. Now. All right. And I was 36. 30. Nice. Awesome. Well, there you go. We finally have some victors. Pretty cool. And, uh, you know, till next time. You know what to do. Just have a great day. And we were driving down the street here in Regina and I had to stop and pull in. Cause I saw this freaking ridiculous sign or this, well, I don't even know, what the, I, do you even call this a sign? So it's this, I get it, I think it's a, I don't know if it's a lion or, but anyway, it's a person and that's a sheep riding a sheep, right? I don't know, there's my finger right there. That's a sheep, so that's its face. And then like a, I think it's a sheep. I mean, it's legs. I thought it was a buffalo from far away. Um, but, I mean, that doesn't look like a... I don't know, you know, it is a buffalo, I think. I see I see horns on it. Yeah, no, it's a buffalo, I think. But it's not a sheep. Because its hind looks like a buffalo. But now I see its horns. I think it's a buffalo. And I don't know if it's a lion. 
or a man? A man or a lion riding a buffalo here in Saskatchewan. And the man appears to maybe be wearing some kind of maybe tribal, like, I, like he has a little knife on him there if you can see. And I don't know what he's holding, but anyway, it looks like a man or something riding a buffalo. So that is a very interesting little sign statue thing on a pole right by some kind of a stadium and by what they call the International Trade Center. So yeah, Regina and that guy. So here we are in Saskatchewan. As you can tell, this place looks very, very different from anywhere else in Saskatchewan we've been in. Uh, you know, there's uh, fields and more fields. We got some nice hay bales. Trees. Yeah, actually, yeah, there's a few trees over there. That's pretty different too. Uh, but yeah, really nice fields. Clouds. Yeah, there's a few clouds. Uh, it is like, you know, a nice little sunny day out here in the fields and we got the road. The road's actually nicely paved here. It's well done. Um, like they obviously fixed that lane right there. See the new asphalt thingy thing. We're going to ride on it. Let's see if it's smoother. Yeah, a little, not bad, not bad, not bad. So, yeah, there we go. A nice tractor. Another uh, tractor. We're seeing definitely a lot of those. There's some horses over there. And yeah, so Saskatchewan offers all different uh, diverse views uh, all throughout the province. But it is it is very pleasant, beautiful. Holy jump! It's like there's some Solar crops fire. of something. Solar fire. Solar fire with crops behind it. Heck right.